in a universe where life does not end at death. We explore the infinite possibilities forged by our very minds. Welcome to our Thadian Anthologies. Greetings, fellow travelers and storytellers. Welcome to a Reborn in Power series featuring the champion of Venus, Kina Jolanth. Follow along as you learn how she is captured and how she uses the power of the champion to break free from her chains. Jalanth. Before you is a large pit of dirt, sand surrounding you. There are little islands, not islands, more like hills of, of dirt that surrounds this space and then metallic walls all leading up to the balcony that you were just at. And then, in front of you, approximately 50 feet away, you see a large door. (laughs) Same plumes of fog begin to flow into this arena. And then you hear... And and you see these, what looks like multiple eyes beginning to gloss over from the light that shines into them. And coming out, a tail whips out in a massive agrolock. steps out and then and it glares at you it begins to walk around you and you see oh the your master said that you be able to use the weapon on your hand to form it into whatever you desire to take out this agrolock. What do you form it into? Um, well, I guess I will form it into what looks like two plasma beaters, but obviously without the plasma. Okay. My bludgeoning weapon. And you they it extends into this uh, turquoise green metallic uh, what looks like a a cylinder at, at the at the edge of it, it it's almost a a very clean polished bludgeoning weapon looks very similar to your own weapons your own your own plasma beater but on both hands and you hold them at the ready I would like you to roll me initiative and they're the same size right as my own yes yes Um, 
I'm at 18. All right, you go first. As you see, the Agarlock is getting closer and closer to you. What do you do? Um, when he is about, I guess, uh, twenty feet away. I'm going to do a lunging strike at him. All right. Go ahead and... With my plasma beaters. Make your lunging strike. Is it... a skill, right? Yeah. Lunging strike or acrobatics? Lunging strike. Yeah, it's a skill. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and... This is, this is your attack roll, right? You got it? The, na- the dot's underneath the number, right? Yes. Okay. You got it? Uh, yeah, 33. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. So, as. Uh, Thirty-three, you go and lunge over to them and, and uh, over over to this agrilock and go straight for its neck, striking directly into uh, its its neck and its and its short and its shoulder blade at, at its front. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. You got it. So, uh, what you what you're gonna roll is the d10, and then I'm gonna roll the damage for the actual weapon that you have. You are. Yeah. Okay, my lunging strike lets me add an extra d10. So. Yeah, it's just gonna be a d10. Plus another d10, right? No, not plus another d10. You're rolling. I'm rolling for the actual damage for the weapon that you have. And I'm just doing the extra. You're d10. just rolling the extra d10. Uh, well, uh, and four. then, so four plus your medium weapon. What's your medium weapon? Is it pl- plus six? So ten. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, what, what was wrong? What was wrong? Sorry, I was. <laughs> you, you weren't. <laughs> Uh, so you <laughs> slam it right into it, its its side, and you see uh, a part of of its thick hide gets gets completely <laughs> kind of dented in, and you see uh, you see blood uh, un- underneath it as it <laughs> it reels back from that first strike. Um, go ahead and make a second attack. This one's not... Not with the... Not with the lynching strike, no. Okay, so... Uh, 21. 21. Alright, you see it... It parries down your... 
uh, your weapon with with one of its with one of its claws, um, and then you also have an offhand attack if you're using your dual wield feet. Are yeah. you going to use your dual wield feet, yeah. or are you going to wait? I'm going to use it. Okay. Which then that also gives you the bonus to its feet. Plus four, yeah. Yeah. Just on this last one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, 27. 27? 28. 28? Yeah. 27. 27, okay. <laughs> what is uh, the difference between hitting and You that? just barely are able to hit it as you see one of its other claws goes to goes to try to, to knock your weapon out, out of your hand and you kind of you kind of spin around drop drop the uh, like Drop the actual weapon like back into into your hand, and then it merges back uh, back out. And as you spin around, you you're able to strike it again. Uh, go ahead and roll. Actually, no, no, you you don't roll damage. I will roll the damage, but it's plus. Uh, is it plus six? Or what's your medium yeah, weapon plus, bonus? Plus six. Plus six. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're able to strike it straight into the side. As it, is it. Uh, it, it gets, it wobbles over, and you can see that its its thick hide is, it, it's no longer able to really like main, maintain it, and now it looks like maybe you can actually like deal some real damage to it. Um, but that was two forms. You have uh, that that was all like that was all your forms. You have one more maneuver left. Do you have anything else you can do? I'm going to fly upwards. So you're going to fly up, uh, but and when you do that, that's going to give it an opportunity attack because you're moving out of its range. Okay. Um, are you going to fly up? Yes. Okay. It's going to make an attack. Go ahead and roll defensive form. I got a 26. It hits. Can I use uh, quick reflexes? Quick reflexes? You you already just you already just rolled, didn't you? Yeah. You can't you can't ask <laughs> to use quick reflexes after you already know that okay. it's gonna I hit you. To do it, but. All right, let me grab all these d4s because it's rolling d4s. As it goes to bite you. It deals 10 points of piercing damage. To your health. As it is able to bite onto you. Now I need you to... Roll to me a. Are you going to try to? Let me see. Roll me an athletics check. Actually, athletics or acrobatics. Acrobatics. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. You're able to maneuver out of its out of its jaw, so it doesn't it doesn't keep you down, and then you're able to fly up. As you're able to fly up, uh, you still have one more maneuver. What are you gonna do? Do you have anything that you can do as a maneuver or not? Like a field assailant or, or something? If not, what? But for the next round. Okay. Well. Can't use it now. Okay, I mean, you could still go down, back down, and and attack it again with the field assailant. It's an extra attack onto someone that you've already attacked, which is. I thought it counted as a form. No, that doesn't. That that skill in particular allows you to add an extra form to your to your turn. Okay, if I attack him, it's gonna cost me another. It's gonna cost you. I move back out of range. Uh, you. 
it would it would make you vulnerable again but you're you're up right now so you're probably about maybe 30 feet up if you use all your movement did you use all your movement to get up to fly up uh i guess i don't i didn't say <laughs> okay well I will, we'll assume that you use all your movement to fly up, and then that's that's the end of your turn. Now okay. it's it, now it's his turn. Um, as you fly up, it is going to then <laughs> it's going to go up to the wall and try to climb up the wall. As it goes to climb up the wall. God, why? Why is it so hard to find certain dice? Right here. There we go. Uh, you see it begin to f- f- slide down. It's not able to get up to where it wants to be. Um, but then it's going to. It's gonna look back and then. I'm gonna roll these one, two, three. I need you to roll me a perception check. Got a 17. You suddenly look at the wall as as it it's like climbing on the wall and and, and you see the indents. You see it drop down and then you see its hide shift and it be, it camouflages and you cannot see it. And it now camouflages to what? Bear? It camouflages to the ground. And now you're flying up and you cannot see where it's at. You see the dirt is almost that you, you you saw it indent into the dirt, but now it it's almost like the dirt is kind of moving in a certain way that's difficult to make out where it's where it's moving to. And all the dirt is beginning to slide around. You can't see the start of it or where it finishes. Only that the dirt is is shifting. What do you do? Yes. Um. How high is the wall? Like, if it would have jumped off of it, how high would it have gotten to me? Not like very me high. From the wall. Not very high. Um. Can I? Flap my wings to maybe make the dust or the sand um, go like come up off the ground so maybe you can uh, reveal the camouflage. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, yeah, like, I like I, I understand. Like you're gonna try to try to use the dust to try to throw it to- towards it to try to that. see if if you can if you can get it to do that. You'd have to get really close to it to it, which you don't know exactly where where. It would be like you'd have to get close closer to the ground. Okay, I'm gonna roll a defensive form. Okay, you're gonna roll a defensive form. Go ahead and roll a defensive form. What's the total? Uh, twenty, one. Twenty one. Okay. Is that all you're gonna do? Because if so, you, you might as well roll two defensive forms. Yeah. Yeah. Another one. And just and just wait oh, it yeah. out. Stamina. My next turn. Yeah. Well. What is that? Good to know. Good to know. Um, with that, I would like you to. So, with your defensive form, you look down. I would like you to roll me another perception check. Twenty-one. 
21. Just kidding, 22. I can't count. Uh, uh, what are you rolling? Uh, and what's your bonus to it? So I rolled a 9, and bonus is a plus 13. Okay. All right. As you look around for it, you cannot see where it's at, but you see the dirt has stopped moving. And then you hear a a whoosh. And you look over to the side and you see it glide over and try to literally attack you from the side. Uh, I would like you to... Well, actually, you don't need to roll anything. I need to roll. That is... To claw attack. I don't need to roll a dodge. Oh, I mean, you already rolled the maximum you can roll, unless you're going to add quick reflexes to something. I could add it to the first one. Yeah, I'll use... All right, well. (laughs) Don't, 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 don't bother. Don't bother. Uh, You see it, it it leaps towards you. As it leaps towards you, you are able to... spin out of the way of it um, and you can make an opportunity attack on it if you like by spending 7 stamina well now that I can see it kind of see it go ahead 28 28 you are able to hit it Uh, go ahead actually uh, you don't need to roll. I'll roll. All right, you see, you are able to strike it into the side. It's like, and it it falls down to the ground. Uh, as it falls down to the ground, it is now your turn. Cool. I will. It's right in front of me, right? So I. Can it is play. on the ground. Yeah. So I will. Speak into the mic, please. I will again use dual wield and I will attack it. All right. I'm going to use field assailant on that extra attack after. Okay, so you're so going to have four, it four times. Four times, yes. yes. The first. Uh, the first three attacks are just a re- like re- uh, the first two attacks are just regular. The third attack is is with the dual wield added, mm-hmm. and then the last attack is with the field assailant added. First attack. This attack is twenty seven. Twenty seven. That hits. Can you do damage at the end or? Uh. I'll I'll be rolling for damage. Okay. <laughs> and just regular. Okay. Second second attack. Second attack is a nineteen. Okay. Uh, it is able to roll out of the way of the, of the second attack, and it rolls onto its feet, getting ready to. Defend itself. The third one is. So th- this is the pl- this is plus the four for the dual wield. Twenty three. Twenty three is able to parry down your third attack. Okay, and the second one. The the field assailant. It looks it looks rather wounded from from your attack that it, it had. Of course, not great. Okay, the second one is a thirty-one. 
What do you mean the second one? The the dual wield? The dual wield. No, 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 no. This, no, no. this is field, field assailant. Field assailant. Thirty one, you said? Yeah. That hits. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, and it, it adds the D ten to Yeah. Right? The damage. Go ahead and roll the damage. So five plus six. That's eleven plus nine, which is tw- an additional twenty. Uh, how do you want to do this? Yay! Um, I will fly above it and fly down and bang it in its head with both of my <laughs> weapons. <laughs> All right. So as you as you go down with with the first with the first strike, you 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 slam slam it in, in its chest as it, it it reels in, and then it spins out of the way of the, of the second strike, and then it parries down the, the the third strike. But then you do a full on you you lift your your body up, you begin to flap your wings, and then do a full on uh, literally front front double flip in the air and then sl- use the momentum to slam down your your uh your your vitanium beaters straight into this this agrilox head and it it cracks its its skull and you see it fall down to the ground and it's like and as that finishes can I like change the weapons now? Change the weapons? Yeah, can I make one into like a little tiny knife <laughs> and hide it? <laughs> you go to try to do that as it as you go to try to do that it it just changes back into a <laughs> into a can I throw it? <laughs> brace on you. You cannot throw it. It is connected to you. As I'm gonna say a prayer over the poor Agrilock. <laughs> Fine. What, what, what would you What would you like to say? Just rest in peace. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> yes, I say reborn in power. <laughs> we were born in power. <laughs> you. Close your eyes and say a prayer as you hear. <sighs> Looks like the Aglog almost caught you, a eh, champion. You turn around and you see the figure in a his full set of armor that you cannot tell what who like who or what he is. He stands towering over you and says, "Well, you got your fill. Time to return back." Was there like a crowd of people watching or no? No. No one was watching except for the master. And he looks at you and is like, take her back. And then you feel a, like a, a motion to move. And I need you to roll me a discipline we'll check. Twenty-one. You are <laughs> forced to move forward. As you're moving forward, you get up to the lift. As the lift closes in, <laughs> then you. Walk back into the laboratory chamber and then 
get braced into a chair inside there. And then you hear as he walks up and you see the fog is is still lingering all throughout the space. And he walks up. Soon you'll get your own taste of what Agarok is. Thank you for dealing with that for me. You're gonna eat it? Is that what you mean? Of course. Don't let good meat go to waste. And you see he turns around. You'll be out of here soon enough, champion. Don't worry. And then the door (laughs) closes. From that, you stay there inside this space for some time. Eventually, he open the door opens up again, and then he brings in what looks like a a tray and a slab of of meat that's been cooked and you smell it It smells actually pretty pretty good and then you hear eat and he turns around and what do you do to my see if my it, they don't loosen, huh? What do you with my beak? All right, you go and are able to grab onto the meat and begin to tear it up with your beak. It's not what you're used to. I would like you to want me an endurance check. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. It's... It is better than what you've been given. It satisfies you. Your stamina is fully recovered. Like you're quite the cook. Do you yell that out? No response. As you sit here, what do you do? Was there anything to drink? Give me some water? Nope. Could I have a glass of water to rinse it down? And I'm going to call out the name. What is the name he said earlier of the titanium? Uh, I didn't write it down. He didn't write it down? Yeah, so Zine is the name of of the Radanium. Okay. What are you going to do? I am going to say, Zine, did you cook this? No response. Well, tell him that it was delicious. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> That's not what how Kina talks, okay? It's just you being you. <laughs> Is that what you say, There's, though? Yeah, you just... <laughs> compliments to the chef. No response. Okay. What do you do? I'm just gonna keep waiting. 
keep waiting. Within several hours, you finally hear <laughs> and you see what looks like a uh, a little bowl of some kind and there is some kind of this orange liquid inside of it. Heard your kind, Lexus. And he looks up, up, up at you, and he's like, Here. And he lifts it up, and then puts it towards your beak. Thank you. I'm gonna get some. Okay. Nectar. It is nectar. Uh... As you drink some, I would like you to roll me an endurance check. Crit. Got a crit. So a 28. 28? Okay. As you begin to suck it, 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 it tastes really good but then there's something about it that's different than usual and then you feel lightheaded and begin to fall unconscious as you fall unconscious you begin to hear voices like Terax reaching out to you you hear Musa's voice you hear Asla calling out and then you hear an unknown voice It sounds like, it sounds like a, a man, a, maybe a prime, and you hear, whoa, this is not good. I need you to watch her for me. And then suddenly you break out and you come back to a <laughs> You begin to see space all around you and you see the phoenix form Hello Kina You are no longer trapped You believe you are outside of oh you've broken through that layer Though it felt real And these questions. You have alternate paths before you. You have but one more layer. Do you wish to go down it or prepare with your allies before you do so? I will prepare first. 
very well. Come back when you are ready. And then you feel yourself flow outside and then you feel water rush over you and you are floating there inside the lake right before the waterfall and you see Terax flying above you and he comes to lift you up out of the lake places you in in a patch of grass and you feel weak but you see the other champions all who have followed you through the space they're all surrounding you at this point and Terax asks you are you able to get through the layers? yes there's one more left Oh. And then you hear, Glad you are able to make it out. And with one more left, it just means that you are almost able to reach back into reality. And with that, we're going to end the session there. So that next time, you can prepare with your champions to go down your last layer and make it out of this space to find out what has happened to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Do you have any ideas of what might be going down? Mm, No, but I think I am locked in a similar room. Similar room to what you just experienced Mm -hmm. or... Mm-hmm. Something else entirely. I think similar to what I just experienced. With the fog, at least. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you all for listening to The Champion. I know this one was a short one, but the next one, I plan on having it be a bigger one. So, mm-hmm. And I need to prepare for that. So, yes. Thank you. For playing Kina. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for listening. And if death comes to you, may you be reborn, reborn in, in power. power. And credits. <laughs>